just really shocking. I mean, inside this building, we're doing our best to try and keep people well. We're admitting people with COPD, heart attacks, strokes. And really the question is how many of those are caused by the air that we're breathing? Uh, I'm worried about air pollution. It causes 7 million premature deaths a year um, and 4,000 early deaths a year in London. So I've got here an air quality monitor that I'm going to take with me on my commute from home to work today. So I'm now in Burgess Park um, and green spaces like this are essential. You can see everybody cycling and walking and they're really great places um, to commute. Part of the problem is that uh, green spaces are not equally distributed, so we're lucky in this area that we have this lovely park, but that's not true of all areas of London. And that's also true of air pollution. Here again, I've checked the monitor and air pollution is low, but air pollution also doesn't affect all Londoners equally. We're all breathing in uh, the air pollution, the toxic air every day, but some communities are much more affected than others because of where they live. Um, so that's particularly true of communities of colour, so people uh, who are from black, Asian and other racially minoritised groups live in areas with NO2 levels on average 24 to 31 percent higher. I'm close to work now, this is Camberwell Green. NO2 levels and particulate matter levels are consistently above WHO recommended limits in this area. The annual average for the PM 2.5 here is 13 and the WHO is 10. People living here, breathing in this air, are going to be suffering from many of the health conditions that I see at my work. That includes asthma, COPD and also things like strokes, heart attacks, dementia. So this is where my patients live. Um, and this is the air that they're breathing when they're walking to school, when they're going to work, when they're coming to see me in my clinic. Um, the A202 crosses here and that's one of the red routes. And red routes are 5% uh, of the roads in London, but they carry 30% of traffic. So I'm at work. Air quality is really not great here. Denmark Hill is just, just in front of me and that's a really busy road. I've got a busy day at work where I'm going to do my best to prescribe medications, but really we need to be doing a lot more and we need structural solutions to these problems.